Hey, you guys want to see my video? Hello guys, my name is So this is another Wilson video, another farming area spots, another video where you are on the level 30 and you wanna farm, you know, decent items, the best items for level 30 plus, possibly to level 40, to approach to the Act 3. Obviously this is the map of the Galata Wales, which is the Act 2, but I have to simplify this kind of to, would be much easier for me to explain for you guys, so I'm just gonna go to the paint already made my version of the map so as you can see level 30 farming spots because I, I'm not able to do the f live footage because I already in the act 3 so when you get into the act 3 obviously you don't have the opportunity to go back in act 2 and act 1 which is a shame that's not a problem at all I'm just gonna use the old footage which I've been you know searching for NPC and that's fine totally because it's, it's no brainer it's like I don't really have to fight to show you like what I'm fighting with or whatever I just have to explain you like how it works so so first thing first, we just have on the second chapter one, two, three, four, five places. No more. Those three places here, I marked red X's. Uh, actually four, but I just explain you that in a minute. Those three places are just like neutral ground. This is just like um, campaign areas, which we're just talking with NPCs, and that's it. Like you're not going to ch achieve anything from those places. In this place, you will have like always the dungeon here, but you don't want to go this place because this dungeon is spawning the unique mob, which never gonna lose to anything exciting that always will be just a blue and rare item so it's no point to going there so just like those three places are irrelevant also when we're reaching this point we just should stop the game and just farming obviously if you don't want to farm just and you're good to go just go and do the campaign what i try to say from this point over there there are no dungeons or there if they are there's like nothing really interesting here this is just basically purely campaign approach to go to the finish the boss to do the boss fight and that's it you don't really have to push farther if you want to start to farm like really decent gear from level 30 to level 40 but uh, if you want to check the farther just you know you can do that but obviously I'm just showing you and telling you like the best possible places for level 30 if you are higher than that you obviously you want to go to the chapter 3 and pretty much that's it so you have those one two three four five places here and what you're looking for on those places I would just show you a live footage but before I will show you that live footage I just want to tell you what you're looking for you're actually looking for the greed shrine which I've done in the nice guide about this like this is like like the the best place for uh, farming legendary items like you usually will get one or even more uh, curse chest which I've done in the guide as well about this so we are looking for the greed shrines or the curse chest and the offering shrine offering shrine is really bonkers also I've done the guide about this as well and in between that for the NPC so you can buy obtain just for the money about like 20,000 gold the uh, unique item so the long story short I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about everything but I just done like really detailed guide I'm really happy about that greed shrine guide so just you know take a look also I think every of those guys guide you enough to understand everything so the greed shrine you just click in the greed shrine and then just chest pop out and will be like several chests from three to seven even eight and then we just killing the mobs and then we just gathering the loot they usually we are having like a, at least one legendary and sometimes there's just the rares but the amount of items is insanely high over there so that's really good worth it to check that so uh, the cars chest we can high roll to eight rares items which is like one chest and lots of items offering shrine always will give you the max cap of your eye level which means if your character is 57 you are going to obtain e-level item of 57 so you have to keep that on mind for example if the legendaries are on or level 32 and 33 and you are actually level 32 and 33 so you just wanna go to the offering shrine because they always will high roll you the uh, legendary item so I explained that in the offering shrine guide so you can look that if you want to along the way when you farming and you searching for the greed shrine and the curse chest and the offering shrine obviously when you're gonna found the NPC you can obtain you can just buy for the gold the unique Item. So now I'm just gonna show you guys in the live footage sort of so what we are going to do is like we are in the town We're going to the waypoint and uh, from the waypoint perspective We're just going to jump on those places which I highlighted for you guys So we just from the town we're just going to the way one two three four five And if you we are not going to found what we're looking for which which is the greed shrine or cast chest 
we just basically quitting the game, exiting the game, and just we just you know repeat the process. So how it works? Because when we're going from the town to the waypoint to the whatever area we are going, there is like not that we don't have any fog of war at all. So the thing is, we just see straight away what's going on. So this is the first place, yeah, first waypoint. We see the cursed chest. So what we are going to do? We are just going always when we see the cursed chest or we see the dungeons. When we see the dungeons, the dungeons dungeons are marked on the green green uh, stairs with the arrow that will be in this footage as well in a minute. So we see the chest and we're just going over there. And along the way, when we are going to see something which is farther, which I can't move right now, and you will see another dungeon or another cursed chest. You're just going farther and farther and farther and until there is nothing there. There's like no dungeon, no no cursed chest or any other chest or any other shrine you're looking for, the greed shrine probably. But then you just stop, you're just simply pressing the M to pop out the map again. You will see the all map. You have to keep that on mind. You can teleport whatever without the interruption. Even mobs can attack you whatever place you want to. So you don't have to use the T on the keyboard to teleport to the town. You can just simply press M and then press whatever area you want to go. So this is the first place. With the violet cash chest, the violet means there will be a little bit powerful mobs than usual, and then obviously you might get the better loot. That is, uh, this is the second uh, place which we already have the uh, dungeon. So, like I said, the dungeons, uh, some basements areas, they are highlighted on the green with the green arrow. So you're just going over there, and the, along the way, when you will follow this route, this path to get to that green dungeon area you might get something farther like npcs or like grid shrines so you're just going over there until you just finish off everything you don't really bother about the trash mobs if you like powerful enough and you don't really have to fight them just try to kill them along the way or don't even bother to kill them at all just kill the stuff which what is in the dungeons there is the third place here as you can see there is nothing up there but we can see that we have some cursed chest here and then Obviously, we are quitting the game and repeat the process again when we finish off everything. So yeah, we just return to main menu, we just exit the game and then we just repeat the process. So here we go again with the uh, similar spot, dungeon again. Uh, you have to keep that in mind because you see, see like this is the same what I showed you before, but everything occurs randomly, which means I was just lucky enough to get the same spot here. Like, for example, in the first chapter, I've seen the NPC three times in the row in the same place, which was like really funny because that actually confused me because I first time at the beginning, I knew this randomly and then I just go to some place and just like three times in the row and like, what? It's like this NPC is just here all the time and it's no, it turns out it's like everything is generated randomly. So another spot, we got another dungeon and the shrine, which give us that bar here with the essence. And then I was jumping around and to find something, but it's like nothing here, nothing there. And apparently something like really nice here because on the minimap I noticed. Uh, but the long story short, we're just pressing, basically tap, is something there, so we just follow that. So that will be the good example actually, I will go to actually fight. So as you can see, I have the curse chest here, so it's really good to go and check that, you know, kill that. It's nothing farther, so we're just killing the mobs from the curse chest, and then we can proceed. So this is the violet curse chest, so we can kill the mobs over there, and then when we kill them, we can then proceed and obviously go to the different area, which is, which is like, for example, here is another spot, and we can go to the uh, offering shrine, which always will give us the best quality item of our level. So for example, my level on this case is 40, which means I will high roll the level quality of level 40 item. It's level 40 items are actually the rare items, which is not like, ah, uh, it's like just, you know, yellow item, but 41, they are legendary items. So if you will go with the 41 level, you will get the legendary item. I will do the guide after and, well, uh, when I hit the level 90, I will do the guide, like, uh, will be a spreadsheet with every level and every cap of the legendary items. So that will be like kind of something useful, I guess. So we got here another place. So as you can see, we have two curse chests. So this is like really crazy good. It's amazing. And that's pretty much end of the story, guys. You're just doing that all the time until you hit the curse chest or until you will hit the, you know, dungeon or offering shrine or a grid shrine. If you're not hitting anything, again, return to my menu. Yes. And you just repeat the process and then you're just going, you know, waypoint. Pressing just tap. It's nothing there. So we're just going to another another place, and this is like bonkers, this is crazy good, offering shrine with the curse chest. And then when you finish that, when you finish that, you're going to another place. You're pressing tap, it's nothing there, you're not going anywhere. And you repeat the process again, and the dungeons look just like that, like I said so, the green arrow below, like with the staircase. And this is like really amazing spot already. This is bonkers with the dungeon, and from the close to the dungeon we have the greed shrine. This is like the almost the best area ever and I think I'm just gonna finish this video over there and you can enjoy 
what's happening here. So uh, thank you very much guys for watching. I'm just gonna unpause that video so you can enjoy what loot did I had. Um, as you can see I was farming from level 30 to level 40. Because this area, always keep that in mind when I'm doing the guys on level 30 areas, I grind those areas like as you can see like really a lot so I know what I'm talking about. It's not just like I, I've been like you know one place or two places. So uh, yeah thank you very much guys for watching. See you next time. I hope you guys like it. Hit that shit. Armor chest, armor chest, weapon chest. I can't do that right now. Luck favors the ball. Oh my god. I'm gonna make it. I need a breather. What's going on? Okay, don't mind if I do, I guess. Hit that shit!